It's been a while since we've done commentary video or a commentary video, so it's kind of great to be back. Um, this video, all right. This is basically just a sort of encore mode for Andy Pants Gaming. If you ever watched that episode of Gordon Ramsay where at, at one point for Kitchen Nightmares, he starts going back to previous restaurants, seeing how they've improved. This is basically just that. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Andy Pants and seeing if he's really learned anything from the Act Man debate that happened. But I do want to take some time to actually give some good points on Andy. Recently, I checked out his Discord server, and I will admit, he actually cleaned it up a lot. The Discord server is honestly just normal. So I'm really glad he managed to clean it up after the whole... <laughs> ...that stuff. But other than that, uh, yeah. And he had actually tried other games, okay? <laughs> to people's surprise, his library is not just... What are these eight games? And that's it. The dude, has been, the dude has been trying other games. I mean, obviously, he's only going to try the ones that are apparently based and shit, so yeah. But, I mean, at least he's at least he's still, you know, being a gamer, you know, trying out new games. But uh, that's all we got for now. All right, we're going to be covering, like, mostly just a bunch of tweets and some Aftermath videos. So let's start off with what happened right after the debate. Of course, many people remember, after the debate... Apparently, Ackman got a copyright strike after he uploaded his version of the debate to his side. Andy Pants proceeded to copyright strike his video in the whole thing. Started to turn into a Quantum TV not, uh, quantum TV situation, where in the end, it ended with Andy Pants releasing the claim. But of course, he proceeds to say, I retracted the request. My logic was he's re-uploading my entire video. He should be linking to mine. But I learned today it's a pretty big deal, and I'm new to all this. Apologies. You see... He's honestly improving a lot. I mean, sure, Andy Pants has been on the on YouTube for what tw tw since 2017. It's not like this. Sh not like this shit's common knowledge. But other than that, I'm pretty sure Andy Pants has completely the power to completely strike down another video. He uploaded my video. Cope harder though. Wa. This was posted uh, like two weeks later. Okay. So what? Maybe he still thinks that Ackman uploading his entire video and adding extra context at the beginning is really just him copying his entire video. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll go with that, I guess. Let's move on to another topic, another video uploaded. He basically then came back to the platform next month uh, on the 1st of October, releasing a video called titled, Why is Everything Game Retarded Now? And... While I will critique the video, obviously, I mean, it's kind of really easy to critique. It basically compares two indie games and two remasters of old games for basically being gay. Why? Because it fucking doesn't have a World War II color palette. But you know what? Maybe he's right. Maybe primary colors is the reason. I mean, look at this primary green. I would have to turn this into dark and beige in order to be based. But sadly, I don't have the time to do that. But um, that's kind of mostly about the video. The, the only reason I bring it up is because when I covered it on a YouTube short, I, I then had a bunch of Andy Pants fans basically come in and tell me to cope and shit, which, look, I didn't want to talk about it, but fuck, I guess we're going to talk about it. Look, if all you're going to do is tell, look, Andy Pants fans, if all you're going to do is tell me to cope and shit, you've already just, you've kind of just lost this conversation. I'd rather have an actual conversation about why you guys think these, these games are woke and shit i don't, I don't want to fucking hear this cope shit that's just a fucking easy cop out all right and fucking the fortnite comment i don't even get what the f i mean look i play fortnite on the occasion but i mean i kind of haven't because the fucking new season's just fucking weird i guess my hair really was messy that day although my hair is now curly now but that's probably because of fucking shampoo and shit but either way look i'd rather have an actual adult conversation about this kind of shit all right come on there's better stuff to tell there's better stuff to insult me with to just tell me to cope, which it will bring up cope. We'll bring up the word cope later. <laughs> hey, post me here. Uh, just thought I should quickly forgot to mention this part. And he was also invited to a place called Base Game Jam Games. I forgot what the event was called. I'll post it on the screen in a minute. But basically, it was an event where basically you submit your own game games from Game Jam. People will take a look at it, you know, and review it and stuff like that. But the whole point of it was supposedly make a jab at, you know, modern games and stuff like that. It was like a month ago, so you know. But I find it ironic that he is doing an event that supports indie devs and shit like that, but then proceeds to make a video where he trashes two indie game developers. All because they're on the fucking Xbox Game Pass. 
and I, I don't think I have to mention this or if you make some counterpoint being like, oh, these are the games that Xbox wants you to play. No, it's fucking not. Those are just games that are available to you if you want to play them. But you, no, they're not obviously being like, yeah, you got to play these games all right now. We have you have to play them in order to play the good games that you want to play. No, it's just what they what they're offering. OK, there's a thing difference between offering and shoving down your throat. But yeah, no, th that ridiculous double standard there. I'm just saying. Anyways, after that, he then also released a video. What is the crisis of masculinity? <laughs> look, 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 by far, this is mostly to serve as a PSA in which, you know what? You're right. Maybe this is an important PSA to teach us how we have lost the masculinity crisis in the so-called clown world that we live in. I mean, probably not because this video was released after the election. Uh, the video basically goes on to tell you that uh, basically you're a man, you're not any of this stuff. Women have their purpose. Women have their purpose to stay at home and take care of the kids. Fucking hell. And that everything that we're standing on, you know, even the fucking earth itself was all constructed by a man. You can tell, basically it's some shit you'd hear in the 80s when people, it's basically someone who lives in the 80s in which, and that was around the time Andy Pants was born because, you know, he's 41. I well, actually probably like 42, I don't know. But I'm sorry, all it just screams to me is just, oh, we had it better back then. And you know what? So speaking of better, I've seen like a bunch of like from his streams bringing up how, oh, if you're parent did not beat you well you were not you won't be raised well okay look buddy while i can't definitively say that a parent beating their kid honestly raises them better because look there's no just there's no like straight answer like yes it does or no it doesn't because i will admit i do i think i do know some people who i, I guess i got got abused as a kid as a kid and you know what maybe they've acted better I, I get what he's trying to say basically like oh it'll be it smacks some sense into you and shit like that but look i'm I, I don't think child abuse really is going to be that helpful. You know, the ends don't justify the means. It's basically that. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I get what he's trying to say, but like I said, ends don't justify the means. Anyways, moving on. But you know, Andy Pants, I'm, I'm trying to bat for you. We're trying to bat two for one against Act Man because bro doesn't want to stop talking about him. A few days later, he made a video making fun of the idea that there was wokeness in games and got absolutely bodied by his followers. <laughs> and oh, you know I had to have uh, Act Man in here because he's a pussy. Things did not go the way Andy wanted and because he is not being transparent and he is trying to hide things from his audience and from my audience, um, I feel it necessary to post the stream in its entirety here. So. Feel free to go down to the comments and roast the fuck out of me. Make fun of me. I encourage it. I always try to welcome criticism. Although I did see, funnily enough, he he's not, you know, even he himself cannot support this game. And I saw basically, basically this guy responded to the act man and said, why are you so afraid of saying it's because it's woke? Exactly. Jesus Christ, parasocial! You need to log off! Jesus Christ! After that, he also posts one more video saying, can I prove that games went woke? The actual video, I don't really care about it. It's probably just a video telling us about how games went woke, and to be fair, there's probably multiple examples of it, so yeah. But I do want to focus on the first part because it's, it's basically his response to the Act Man shit, in which he goes on to claim that... He denied that women in games are becoming uglier. He denied that games are becoming less masculine. And he denied that games are becoming more woke. So apparently, Act Ma'am denied that women are getting, women in games are getting uglier, you know, all that stuff in these three columns. And you know what? You know what? He's right. There's, there is clearly, Act Man is clearly blind about the wokeness of video games. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't answer the question. Okay, good Do I think it. it's strange? You want, you want a real answer? No, I don't think it's strange. I think corporations do what thinks will make them money. And as you see with Concord, clearly didn't work out. Didn't work out. They didn't make money off of that. Do I think it's strange? No, it's, it's a noticeable pattern you could trace at least well, not not just back to 2020, but after the the BLM protests, riots, after all of that, there like that's when a hard push began, where corporations started being like, "Wow, there's a lot of popularity behind this movement. Let's capitalize on that. Let's like that famous fucking what was it, a Pepsi ad? Yeah, 
So, no, I don't think it's strange that they're pushing it. I think it's strange that they push it as hard as they might have done in Concord. Okay. Okay, so maybe, maybe game, maybe just the corporations really were trying to push DEI and stuff into video games. And that didn't work out so well. And yeah, so maybe he does, he is aware that there is wokeness in games. So I guess we can cross that off. But the other two points, he is clearly, Andy Pants is clearly in the right. Of course, that games are becoming less masculine. But to answer your question, if there's been a steep decline... How do you quantify masculinity? I mean, dude. like the Doom games, like 2016, well, dude, I... Doom Eternal, Doom the Dark Ages coming out. We just had Space Marine 2. That's pretty fucking masculine. I mean, Leon Kennedy, Resident Evil 4 remake. I, th I think Leon Kennedy's a fucking badass, pretty masculine. Isaac Clark, the Dead Space remake, pretty fucking masculine. Uh, exactly, but which is a remake of a 2007 game. Right, but those are still remakes released within the last couple of years, all featuring protagonists that we all consider to be fucking giga chads so right, saying, obviously there's some contention around your premise that masculinity has fallen off on a steep decline or something in some okay, ways I'm, sure maybe there's more uh pandering well, just, oh, yeah well, go I'm ahead just, i'm just saying that we had medal of honor we had sam fisher we had ghost recon we had all of these great like masculine characters in games and it seems like everything now is either a remake like like what new very masculine character uh uh has come in a game recently new yeah are you talking like entirely new franchise right it's not a remake of a 2007 game because that just proves my point that games back in the day were more masculine and everything's feminine now i think you're just moving the goalpost because you were talking about masculinity in video games and i gave you several examples of protagonists but now you're saying what about new characters so no, you're no, kind no. of just moving the goalposts on this. No, no, no. I, I don't have to move the goalposts. Uh, Dead Space is a remake of a 2007 game, so that proves my point. So, yeah. but you, you you disagree. You disagree that games are, are are have been feminized. You disagree that masculinity is in decline in video games. Is that what you're saying? Um, I disagree with some parts of of what you've said. Yeah. Uh, okay, I think we could cut him off there. Oh God. Um. Okay. So so yeah, he brought up multiple masculine characters around that time and yeah i will admit yeah they're pretty cool characters you could say that honestly represent giga chads and shit okay fine we'll give him that one but there is no way he can't deny that women are getting uglier in video games <laughs> yeah no i'm just gonna drop the facade for this one yeah no so basically Ackman is basically saying that he doesn't want to cover that kind of shit Reason why is because that's not the important part of being a game reviewer. Look, I may have done my own. I don't have that much to say that I am a game reviewer, but when I look into a game, I don't fucking look into it for the fucking women and seeing, oh, the design looks so hot and shit. How do you quantify that? Dude, you know it's true, man. You know they look, women look like garbage in games. I mean, if if I were to look at like recent video game releases, um, I'm sure there'll be a mix. I think like why are you I think doing well here here's the thing. Here's that you remember that Overwatch diversity chart that leaked? Yeah. So stuff like that, stuff that is tangible. I cover stuff like that. It's not not like, oh, this female character doesn't have a rockin' double D boobs. Uh, wokeness? W woke? I don't make shit like that, okay? Uh, but when it's something tangible, when it's like an internal document at Blizzard that shows that they're grading their characters based on a set of diversity charts mm -hmm. and numbers, yeah, I'll cover that, because that's fucking insane. Mm -hmm. That's actually something for me to point at and say, wow, this is like a really bad mindset to make video games with instead of like some creative inspiration when now we're tokenizing everybody it, we're, and giving them a score a diversity score dude, um careful careful you, you, you dude, yeah you i'm gonna i'm gonna piss right off now. the leftists i'm dude, gonna you feel like you're going all right now i love oh yeah I'm yeah back. yeah <laughs> and besides look he's not technically denying that women are ugly in video games just saying that he's not covering that kind of shit i mean you could still say that women are ugly in video games go ahead but Ackman's not going to join you in your crusade. And sure, if he doesn't join you, that doesn't mean he's like, oh, woke and shit. That just means that he just doesn't, he's not in, he's not interested in looking into that kind of stuff. He's more interested in looking into the other stuff in video games. So yes, go ahead and say that women are ugly in video games. Doesn't change the fact. You can 
honestly. For me, I, I mean, if you want to say, look, if you want to say that women are hot, that there are some hot women in video games, go ahead. If you want to say there's some ugly women in video games, go ahead. Don't try to rope the people that say, oh, we don't care about that kind of stuff. We're looking into the game itself, not the fucking character design or whatever. When we want to look at the character design, oh, it's probably just a compliment and shit. But look, yeah, go ahead and say that a, a woman is ugly in a video game, okay? Like, I don't care, personally. Look, I, I don't know where the hell Andy's bringing up all this shit. To say that Ackman's deny it? No. The first two points about wokeness being in video games, he's not saying that it's not in- He's not denying saying that it's not in there. He did bring up the whole boy who cried wolf. To say that games are becoming ma less masculine, he gave you his answer. There are still games that were released in the month a month ago that were super cool dudes that we could look up to as Giga Chads. And to say that women are getting uglier in video games, he's not saying that it's not- <laughs> He's not saying, no, there aren't any ugly women in video games. He's saying that he, it's an obvious, yes, there are, but I don't, but I'm not interested in covering that kind of stuff. It's not my interest. So, yeah, at least that's, that's my interpretation of it. I mean, I could be just be fucking wrong. Anyway. You can say that, yes, it, it exists, but you're not interested in covering that kind of stuff. I think that's what the message is trying to get through. Other than that, uh, he also said that Actman denied him from another debate. But, I don't know, I asked him on Twitter, fuck, I didn't get a message back, but who knows. I mean, to be fair, considering the last, how you act in the last debate, I, I wouldn't want to do it again if all you're going to do is just tell me why I'm gay and why I play both sides. Next thing we're going to talk about, well, it's not really a big gotcha moment. It's more so just a health check because this video, when I first saw it, it honestly really shocked me. Mostly about the tone of his voice. And guys, I'm just going to be honest with y'all today. These people hate Christ. They hate religion. They hate God. They're pure evil. They're pedophiles. I'm keeping it a hundred, as they say today. It all goes back to Satan. It's started by Satan. It is proliferated by the people who killed Jesus. I know that you know who I'm talking about. I don't even need to say their name. They're pedophiles. They hate America. They would have hated the old Call of Duty games. Stop supporting this game. Go play Ready or Not. Go play Squad. Uh, go play Hell Let Loose. Um, I was about to say play Battlefield. Don't play Battlefield. Battlefield is just as bad because they're pedophiles. They're satanic. They worship the devil and they hate Jesus. They hate Christianity. They hate your religion. We're moving towards an era right now where if you... Guys, the Bible's about to be a banned book. If you do, if you say my religion doesn't support this, you're going to be put in a concentration camp. But guys, they're going to have to come. They're going to have to come after our guns first. So I hope you're arming yourself, as I am, and and you're getting ready for the things that are ahead, guys. Because they've they've it's Satan wants to mock everything that is good. Satan wants to. Uh, 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 Satan wants to destroy children. Satan hates everything that's good. I hope they didn't forget the straw again. They, they always do. And they did. Great, great. They forgot it. Cool. Just what I wanted. Exactly, exactly what I wanted, actually. Cool. Sorry, you were saying something? Guys, everything that's good and beautiful and true in life, leftists and uh, uh, Kamala Harris supporters hate it. So um, guys, we are talking about Call of Duty here. Sorry, I'm just, dude, I'm just going off today. I'm just, I'm just done with the bullshit. I'm surprised like even after he's okay uploading that, but no, Jared, seriously, dude sounds like an actually insane person. I mean, the Nick's Mercs thing, uh, that's, there is a comment, there is something from Nick Mercs where he basically said, maybe you should leave kids alone. And I will admit, yeah, that is a little bit messed up to ban him for. Other than that, Dude, you sound like a fucking, you sound like a fucking conspirit, you conspiracy lunatic, lunatic, fuck him. I mean, that was a few, that was a few weeks ago, okay? Clearly, Andy does not honestly think like that. Clearly, he had a rough night out. I don't know why I was gonna make some gay joke. There is still one thing we can defend Andy for, okay? The fact that GTA 6 is going to be woke. He's right at every point about it. Hey, so just real quick, I want to give a quick shout out to Cyberboy's video on 
him covering Andy Pants's GTA 6 will be woke video. He did a great job decompiling it and you know, pointing out the flaws in it. And don't worry, this name, his name will be brought up later in a certain tweet. All right, the last thing we're gonna talk about for Andy Pants is the Red Dead 2 stuff. So, in a recent video, he commented basically being that GTA 6 is going to be woke. Why? Because they don't, they don't want to target fucking trans people and gay people, apparently. Uh, anyways, but that video, I mean, look, it's a video basically talking about why games are woke, so who cares, honestly, for at least for me. What I really want to cover is the part on what, what happened on Twitter, where basically, it mostly starts after he made a tweet, basically, you could say it's sort of retweeting another post, talking about the staff working on GTA 6. And look, I'm, I'm going to debunk it real quick. Most of the photos used in this tweet were mostly from Women's Day from Rockstar. Okay, it was a day to cover, like, most of the people that worked at Rockstar who's a woman. Okay, I mean, even the community note says it itself. But of course, Andy Pants uh, having this weird thing where he will just respond to every single comment. Proceeds to respond saying, here's a group of folks that work at Rockstar and look, all dudes. Okay, but... Oh, right, I probably mentioned that he posted the team that worked on Red Dead 2. Being a bunch of guys and it's just... Yeah, it's basically the proof thing being like, guys, men worked on games like, Rock, like Red Dead 2 and it was a great game. Only for him to be proven wrong again, and people start tweeting that, bro, people, women worked on Red Dead 2 as well. And I can concur this as well. I did some research. I have a, where's my community? Where's my, we have Jennifer, Jennifer Colby as a studio director, Carmen Coker as internet art director, and Nicole Griffith Zunga, I cannot pronounce his name, I'm so sorry, as a camp artist, as so, same as Kelly Grimes. Amy Gall Gallen as lead camp artist, and Katherine Rossler as lead optimization artist. So, Andy, do you have a sort of explanation for that? Oh, yes, no, he does, actually. After basically making another tweet being like, everybody is seething and molding over my GTA post. Okay. Yes, women work at Rockstar, but likely irrelevant positions. Studio director. Interior art direction, camp artist, lead camp artist, lead optimization artist. I could go, I could go back into that freaking credits on the Rockstar website and pull more female names. I was going to do this thing, ironic thing, where I pull up 13 women who did work on Red Dead 2, but I was not about ready to just start pulling up names and then putting them in Google search and seeing some, seeing some random Facebook posts. But either way, Andy refuses to take the L and he keeps replying to people basically telling them to cope and seethe or that you wear a dress or a skimpy shirt. And that's kind of where this ends right now. And look, you can have your own opinion. I don't mind it. But for me, I don't think Andy Pants has learned shit. I mean, that's kind of the obvious answer because if you look at his actions. But um, yeah, no, the dude refuses to even take L's when he needs to and just keep replying with cope and seethe, which is just his obvious answer of, oh, I've lost. So I'm just going to keep replying cope and seethe. It's like, Jesus Christ. And uh, the weird twist is that whenever a channel, like I guess you could say like mine or Rinse or... Any other channel calls him out, they proceed to he proceeds to call him little or they don't matter because they don't have a big subscriber base. Well, clearly everybody disagreed with you because they loved my video. But when a bigger channel does actually, you know, take a jab at him and actually, you know, give him good point actually break his entire debacle and shit. Examples Optimus, Mudahar. Who support pedophilia and Satanism and push Man, this guy's living in 1980. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. We need a source on that one, chief. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck, dude? This guy's definitely memeing, bro. This guy can't be real. This guy's a, this guy's a fucking satirist, dude. He's satirizing this. And call these YouTubers out because they are not as racist or not racist like he is. But they would still have a problem with, I'm sure, with like the idea of wokeness in games if, if they were asked. They, it's just not their obsession. They're just gamers. Oh my god. You guys are saying he's serious, but no, he's a satirist. He knows exactly what he's doing. That's, that's where I dial out of the video right there. That's fucking wild as fuck, dude. Or act, man, I guess, but who knows. He then proceeds to blame it on fucking Jewish people. Y'all, let's be honest, like, 
Maddie, Actman, uh, uh, Bellular, like all these YouTubers are just, guys, they're leftist progressive cucks. And none of them will call out the noses. None of them will call out the LGBT trash. It's funny how he tells us to cope and seethe, but like, he can't, he, he's the equivalent of coping and seethe. Like, honestly, do I think any fans might be probably a good guy? Yeah, probably, honestly. It would have been... He probably is a great, he'd probably be a great person to talk to. But if this is how he's going to act every time when you try to like actually bring up good points or some shit about this whole stupid culture war shit. Dude, you act like a fucking child. But uh, that's the whole encore shit about Andy Pants. Do I think there's a chance he could redeem himself? I mean, it's been a month and the dude's like doubling down on most of everything and proceeds to reply to everybody like. He, like, he'll reply to every single negative comment because the dude actually might have an actual ego problem. To which I just say, parasocial, you need to log off. And there's just some advice, and I gotta wrap up this video quickly. Dude, you have a family and stuff, and yet you're still replying to comment. You're, you're replying to every single comment you see on your fucking Twitter and YouTube comment. And you even like a bunch of comments. To which, holy shit, how many, like, uh, how, how long are you looking at your comment section? Like, is that all you do all day? Because the amount of comments you have, like, hearted on this one video... Dude, what the fuck? It's still... Okay, is it No? Okay, another one? Alright, okay, another one? Alright, alright. <laughs> is this still good? Still go, oh my god. What the fuck? Is it over? Nope, nope, there's two more. I think... Now it's it? Is it done? Nope. All right. We got one more. We got one more. But no, seriously, l legit, actually parasocial, you need to log off. I, I don't mind, like, engaging with, like, comments and, you know, liking them, but oh my god, fucking hell. I think this is fucking overdoing it, honestly. Or I guess being on the internet all the time. Jesus Christ. But look, you already have a good life and shit. I don't get why you have to keep, I don't get why you have to keep replying to everybody on the internet and just keep telling them to cope and seethe. It just shows that you just have a fragile ego, honestly. Find some men to get around to share what's going on. You're 41. You know how to act like an adult. I, I assume, all right? Now, please just act like one. And for God's sake, stop acting like a fucking child. Okay? This is probably going to be the last time I ever cover Andy. Unless he does something, I don't know, completely crazy. But hope everybody enjoyed. And I'll see you later where I make something actually something I want to cover. My source is that I made it the fuck up. Imagine a world ride in free of cancel culture, where no one can call me out for my outlandish claims. A world where I can say the N-word. What?